real girls. Actually, I have never had real girls in my life. <laughs> I live in Canada over 30 years now. My family originally from uh, China. But my family is putting pressure on me to get married. But uh, it's nice to settle down to have family, to feed the love. That's why I'm on the website. <laughs> AnastasiaDate.com uh, is a website where uh, we have about 20,000 female members from uh, Russia and Ukraine. And uh, we have about uh, you know, 15, 20,000 men from North America and, and Europe. And we've been offering uh, customers to visit Odessa, Kiev, uh, Kherson, and other cities to uh, form the real relations. I think a lot of people are coming with uh, very serious intentions. Welcome to CD number two, the audio dating guide. I'd like to tell all the gentlemen, congratulations. You've made the right choice by choosing Anastasia, and we're glad to have you aboard. Take some time to reflect or think about the type of woman that you hope to meet, the type of woman you hope to marry. Keep all of your expectations reasonable. Keep within the parameters of what's going to add to your life. Whether you're in Ukraine, Russia, Moldova, what you're looking for is a partner to share your life with, not a statue to hang on the wall. I'd like to thank you for choosing Anastasia Group Tours, and I hope that you have a safe and productive journey. Oh, you know me. There you go. You pick. Okay, this one. <laughs> okay. I'm from Utah. I live in Utah. Uh, I grew up in Canada. I'm from Minnesota. From France. Mostly in France. I'm from the great state of Montana. Hello, I'm from Wisconsin. <laughs> I'm friends with Tony Zamboni there from Wisconsin. <laughs> I'm from Sweden. I'm from Florida. Nice. I'm an amateur photographer. With a digital camera in my hand. I've never been married, but the all girls impressed me uh, when I've been married, but I didn't have the same feeling for, for them. So in true life, I did not really have a date. I was married that one time and it just didn't work out. I took a 10 year break in there and pretty much married my job and uh, hung out with my kids and did all that stuff. So now I'm ready to divorce my job and marry a woman again. So. I think, I think that a common thread is the men coming here have experienced a very serious hurt, very serious pain. They've had bad experiences with American women. And so they sort of have this need to do something dramatic. I was married for 12 years, I um, have four kids at home. At the time of the divorce, is the most difficult thing in my life. You know, I'd actually love somebody they decided they did not love me, they wanted to move on and go a different direction in life. I liked being married, I liked the lifestyle, I liked raising kids, doing the things that you do as a family. So I want to live that again. Um, the women I met from America, they, I don't know if it was just who I met and just luck of the draw, so to speak, but they seem to be interested in them, having a fun time all the time, and not so much in family. So I've read and heard about women from Ukraine, and so that's one of the reasons why. Мы втроем на сайте Анастасии уже почти два года. Еще не вышли замуж? Нет. Мы в поисках. В поисках. А, один, в активном. На единственного, самого лучшего. Наши украинские парни, многие из них, на первое место ставят э, свою карьеру, деньги, а только потом своих любимых девушек. Украинские парни не такие, наверное, порядочные, как американцы. Американцы хотят завести семью, больше они любят больше детей, жену, уважают.
Welcome to Odessa once again. Uh, we're getting to Odessa Hotel. It's uh, located in uh, on the Black Sea. It's, a, it's big mall, so it's better to pay the cost. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I'll give you a voice. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've been separated over two and a half years. Uh, you want somebody to spend the second part of your life in the best way possible. I think I deserve it. Right? I deserve a second love. <laughs> Some of these days, I'll walk around the corner on the London tour, and I'll know it, she'll know it, and uh, we'll go back to the United States, and then I'll just come over here for vacations with my wife. My hope would be to meet somebody that uh, I could have a serious relationship with. You know, my plan here is, is to have a lot of fun and to uh, talk with a lot of ladies and stuff like that. And, and the special one uh, will just pop right into my life. Okay, guys, so everybody here, and we can start. Main point why you are here, socials and Ukrainian ladies. We're here to help you to find the right destination and to find your right destiny. Let's go. Follow me. The men are coming over here because they've gotten divorced. Uh, their wives aren't happy with them anymore. The guys on their tools, uh, they have at least some degree of success. Some are financial advisors, loan officers. They have good properties, plans, good assets. I know myself, I am a physician in Texas. I can't complain. Yeah, we're going to be actually running uh, the eight-hour uh, SunTrust uh, Mono GT race down in uh, Daytona. Okay, today we're on our way to the Miss Odessa Contest 2009. We'll be judging 30 of Odessa's finest. On the stage international, Miss Odessa 2009 beauty pattern. put together and created for us. It's a dream for every single middle-aged man to have uh, multiple choices. Center, mm -hmm. and we have things called request forms. You'll fill those out, and that'll include the lady's uh, ID number, her name, and put down, for example, like, it'd be nice to meet with her tomorrow for lunch or go out to dinner. Хорошо, мы будем вас ждать uh, 6.30, uh, 6.30 мы будем вас ждать, а вы подойдете, и мы вас увидим, да? Елена, интерпретер of Анна, they're waiting for you in the oh, lobby. Okay, okay. <laughs> I am looking for the lady that I met last night. Uh, she said she was on the website, so she should be in one of these photos. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I remember her. Yeah. Hey, let me see if we know some of the same ones. <laughs> we may have similar uh, tastes. Yeah. One one zero seven one eight two. I thought this was quite a wonderful picture here. I have a hundred uh, mails in there. Uh, Seventeen letters. You've really talked to her. 
Is this a lawyer? Oh, this one is a lawyer? Yeah. Yeah. But she does some part-time modeling too. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't want a divorce lawyer today, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> Many of the girls are much younger than my daughter. I don't like that. I, mean, I prefer it would be more kind of somebody that you may want and may have something to talk about it. Are you afraid of a scam? Of course. You have to. At this age, I think I take more factors into account rather than just to have this illusion of big love. And, you know, most of the guys here have experienced a girl in the States may be dating you to get a better life or a status. It's all over. I have interest in Asian women uh, as well, but I'm open-minded. Uh, I'm interested in Ukrainian women because read about that uh, you Ukrainian women are family-oriented and they're also well-educated. Let's go, guys. Good morning. Good morning. It's nice. It's the Canard Mines. I think that you have to be a romantic to travel halfway across the world to meet the woman of your dreams. My name is Natalia. Of course, traveling halfway across the world is completely out of the ordinary. It's really a long way to drive to go on a date. <laughs> she doesn't have to be perfect. So much of a woman's beauty has to do with uh, this idea of elegance. I like the culture that Ukrainian women have. Women pride themselves a great deal in, in preparing meals. They really embrace this notion of family. They're very dedicated to it. Очень много хочется о чем спросить, но один вопрос, который всегда хочется в голове, почему Украина? Because I have friends near where I live uh, that have married Ukrainian women, and I think they have the happiest marriages. Но женщины всегда везде, так как и мужчины. I think that there's been this transition through feminism and a number of other movements in the United States that have altered how women look at themselves and it has, I think, robbed them really of some of the identity that they once took great pride in. У нас такие вот женщины, им хочется и семью, и бизнес, и деньги, и хочется и жить хорошо, и в то же время хочется детей, хочется содержать себя, поэтому, а как правило, женщина всегда является как бы главой всего мужчина, как придаток, скажем так, вот, в большинстве случаев. Еще самая главная проблема в украинских мужчинах, это они любят выпить. Но сейчас я уже приступила к рубеж, когда... Не хочешь независеть ни от кого, и очень сложно, очень сложно найти того человека, именно полюбить того человека, с которым ты хочешь, которому ты хочешь отдать то. Ты уже сомневаешься, уже где-то глубоко, в глубине души ты уже думаешь, а стоит ли, а не проще ли быть одной. I raised two children as a single parent for 15 years, but uh, now there's this beautiful point in life where many of the responsibilities are gone. And it's time for me to refocus. And I want to build a relationship on a firm foundation, and that includes trust and honesty and sincerity and, and affection. Of course, these girls are registered in a registered table, but we don't know them personally. We don't know their 
honesty, it's up to you and decide, you know. That's okay, we, we can still talk. Socials will divide onto two parts, from one to four, background music and time to talk, and from four o'clock, time, time to dance, quite a time. not to hang out around the bar and chatting to each other, it's not your main goal. It's like a candy store, like me walking into a candy store and saying, well, wait a minute, I want this one. No, I want that one. Well, wait a minute, maybe if I just take one of each. My concern is mainly to find someone I like. And I'm not asking myself any other question. Some of the girls, they really like social butterflies, but I don't know, it's up to you to hang around with them. If you look for some serious relationships, also we have ladies who really want to have serious relationships. That's my friend. Remember me uh, every time. Uh, drive, 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 drive. Никуда она не хочет ехать, она хочет докрутить. Все. А зачем мне надо старик 60 лет, я ей 18 лет и 60 лет? Ну, сами посудить, это нереально. А она, да, да, ловлю, если деньги есть. А если нет денег, то не крутится. Она ему делает до свидания, и все. Они говорят, о, very expensive, woman, very like money. Я говорю, my friend, every country woman like money. Только доходит, о, oh, yes, yes, yes. Профессиональные невесты, это работа у них такая. <laughs> Молодцы, девки. Ну, а как, как, как тут крутиться? Только так. Мы уже знаем профессиональных женихов с их стороны. Every time change, change. У некоторых здесь даже дети есть. Она вот только что уехала. Она воспитывает дочку. А он уже приезжает уже с другими. С другими. С другими. Здесь есть профессиональные женихи. Beautiful woman that even look at you, it's like a shot of energy. You realize you may have a second chance with the woman of your dream, but you know, it may be just a dream. Well, 
Oscar, is she happy with all of We can try another one. The last one, I like her. She likes me too. She was the one approached me, asked for my phone number. We plan to meet again. On the other hand, uh, there are other girls keep calling me. I guess maybe I'm too soft, it's hard to say no. But I'd like to still meet up with them to get to know them a little bit. Maybe there are other body of options. I just keep my, uh, my open. You want to hear something? <laughs> it's a day that's so much uh, different. Do you have anybody that you prefer in particular? Like, Yeah, I think I'm near down to about three so far. I started the same like you, meeting different girls. I met somebody that I think I want to try with that one a little bit more rather than to meeting more other uh, like amount. I want quality, you know, on that one and see what happened. As for my days, I play the game a little bit differently. I ask them if they want to meet up with me again. I used to, you can play by ear. Usually they feel interested. They ask you when they want to meet again. And I say tomorrow. But even tomorrow come, I will not call her. Not, uh, not to lie to her, but to see how she think. If she really interested in me, she'll call me back. That's all I think. Right. If she's expecting you to call and you don't call her, she's not going to call you. They're kind of not that aggressive like the traditional American girl. Uh. My strategy might not be the same as yours. My working so far. I, do, I did not call them on the day that I told them I called her. I figured that if she really interested in me, she will call me back. There may be somebody which is a good girl who's very interested that he will hold it because you may think that you are not interested on her, you know, I mean, that's what, what I think. Welcome to Odessa. Odessa was constructed by different architects who were sent from St. Petersburg by Catherine the Great. Different styles uh, one can see in the architecture of Odessa. But after the Second World War with Nazis, about 20% of buildings in the Odessa were either completely ruined or damaged. This building of synagogue was converted to a gym. The city of Odessa is very famous throughout the world as uh, the place where Potemkin steps are located, thanks to the movie Battleship Potemkin, which was shot by a director, Eisenstein. I personally think that Washington uh, DC is a more sophisticated city than Odessa. Odessa is a big city, but Washington uh, DC a lot of high rises, new buildings. I think, in general speaking, I would say so pigs get it, some of their shops. <laughs> after Nazi, after the Nazi, Germans, the Germans Nazi, invaded yes, the city, and then right. the Romanians They ate this yeah. part of the Romanians, promising them that this part of the Romanians. Slippy dogs. <laughs> This is good. Ah, uh, yes. For the rest? For a woman? Yeah. 
I think this is a, a romantic city. Isn't it nice that there are more refined and considerate yeah, that's society? Yeah, I had Chateaubriand with uh, two glasses of wine. And I spent like uh, $20. I thought that the Bordeaux had an excellent nose. It was an early Bordeaux, it was a 2006, but it opened up nicely. And the energy, like Ernie, about the energy, the energy you get in here is, is, is uh, completely uh, awesome. I didn't know I had so much energy, you know, for everything. <laughs> I meet a girl today, the third time. When you like a girl, you are nervous. If you don't like them, you're not nervous. I'm nervous. Yeah? I like her. My girl. Пришли с рациями там, мешаете людям жить. Из Одессы сделали а тюрьму. Я из Запорожья сюда приехал. Я любуюсь вашим городом. Идите, у вас есть маршрут движения. Вам не будет здесь не стоять. I did some things wrong. I worked a lot for many years, getting my career going. Um, at the very end, um, she made a decision to see other people. <laughs> and um, we tried to work it out a few times, and it did not work. I'm not too old. I'm 37, so I'm not too old to be starting a new family. 
that's what I seek, is someone who wants those same things, has those values. Um, physicality, obviously, I like um, pretty women. Tall, blonde would be nice. But uh, that's not as important as, again, their personality, their level of maturity, uh, their life experiences. Uh, we were in the service, yes, our whole, my whole family and aunts and uncles all the way back to um, it was to the Marine Corps. I'm an AMA uh, pro road racer. I've been uh, taking national championships in, in the U.S. Um, you know, since 1999. Yesterday was better than the first day. I met three or four girls. I have uh, three dates next week. I, I, I go very slowly. Um, I have to get to know somebody, know a little about their personality. I've, all, all it's been so far is what do you do, where do you live. I didn't correspond with anybody on, on the web because I left that open. Well, we're on our way to Kirsten, it's our third day, and uh, we're going to our uh, third and final social. You can't pick both. Can you? <laughs> this is her son. This is street. <laughs> it's good street. <laughs> yes. Главное, чтобы Люка не видел, чтобы не было подкрепления. Мама, я летчик, я люблю. Мама, я за летчика пойду. Летчик высоко летает, много денег получает, и за это я его люблю. Мама, я за доктора пойду. Мама, я доктора люблю. Ты доктор делает аборт и посылает на курорт. Мама, я доктора люблю. Ой, мама, я повара люблю. Ой, 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 мама, я за жулика пойду. Ой, 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 я за жулика пойду. Ой, ой, я, а жулик будет воровать, а я буду продавать. Мама, я жулика люблю. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Sometimes they put a little lipstick on those words, I think. No, <laughs> Ramon. We could go to Russian oh classes somewhere. It's difficult. I already tried. How does he work? How many days? And what is your work schedule? I have two weekends uh, off in a month. Can you tell us your work day? What do you, do you usually do? If I have uh, to see patients in the office, so I go sometimes first to the hospital, then to the office. He goes to the office, and if he has any patients, he goes and follows them. Okay, then I go and I check them. Then, um, oh, you have this, that, or whatever. And what do you do then? I see the next patient. So he always follows the patient? During the day, during all day long. The thing is that people work a lot. 
They are not as fashion as uh, here. Ну что, у них девушки не одеваются красиво в платье, на каблуках. So your girls never uh, dress up. Like every girl in the world, they like to dress up uh, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes they take a bath. Иногда. Like I live in the border with Mexico. And uh, Mexican women say are very fashion. If they go to the mall, I can tell you that's a Mexican woman. <laughs> that, no, it's true. <laughs> Ramon, she would like you to uh, to take some juice. Guys, was the plan with the two blonde girls that you met? I have to call them today. You just got to be able to spend enough time with them to realize which one maybe you would have a you would have a relationship with. Well, I mean, no, I I picked one of them already. You know, how honeymoon. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no. Those people married and have honey. Yeah, honeymoon. Hon yeah. Honeymoon. Oh yeah, honeymoon. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Once I chose the girl, the other one uh, I could see she got upset. But then she started coming out of the closet and started shaking her butt more in front of me, and 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 she started picking up English a lot faster, and and she started competing with this here girl. But she she lost. I mean, if it was a game, she lost the game. She should have done that from the beginning. I picked Bachelor at number two. <laughs> we're gonna go out for dinner, and then we're maybe gonna go bowling or something, and. Uh, and so far, that's our plan. I can't tell you the rest of it. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Stop. Oh, that weasel. That is so a bitch. I, <laughs> I don't expect it. Stop. <laughs> The guy that I thought was my friend just stabbed me. Stabbed me right in the back. But did you like Lisa as much? Yeah, and I told him that too. He knew that. <laughs> I just lose everywhere I go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get rid of the camera. I'm done. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm done. Stop, Dad. I'm just going for my 1 30 appointment. 1 oh. 30. All right. Alpha County. See you. Good luck. I probably have gone out with about 10 uh, girls so far. Uh, apparently, some of them you don't want to go out because I think uh, some of them are taking advantage of you more for fun than for a serious relationship. But those who entrust me because I've tried to get, get something out of me, like uh, food or uh, taxi money, uh, I usually don't see them again. I want a peaceful marriage. So to that, I think I should uh, learn more about girls, take it more seriously. Oh, I see. Uh, today my schedule tied up, but can you please phone me tomorrow? Okay, is it tomorrow not good time for her? Yeah, try to phone me back tomorrow. T today you are booked up. A very really tight schedule for today. Okay, uh, call me after nine. Yeah, so I got another appointment at uh, about 15 minutes in here. I had to cancel some of them. I canceled three of them already. <laughs> some of them for me, I couldn't picture them, right? You know, this is the place I you. Yeah, actually, all this right, but unfortunately, I will be very busy tomorrow and the day after. Sorry. I will be interpreting for the other guys. The other couple, okay? We have spent the last three days trying to get into the opera. That side Just and to that side. I want to see the whole thing, you know? Right. And we come at any time, they always book. And not because of tourists, because of the local people. I still show you. And it was cheap. It's uh, 25 greenies, it's like uh, $3. <laughs> Вот это мое 
телевизор мой, холодильник, вот этот вот шкаф мой. Mm -hmm. Ну, как бы, этот шкаф. Ну, то, что старое, это все здешнее, а то, что mm -hmm. новое, это мое. И сколько это удовольствие стоит? 800 гривен. В месяц? Да. Это нормально или дорого, или дешево? Но для меня это дорого. С этими условиями, не горячей воды, сейчас воду отключили горячую. Да. Это такие мучения. Просто если снять однокомнатную квартиру, это будет 350 долларов. Да, не, про квартиру никто ничего не говорит, это вообще. Рамон очень хотел приехать, но ты же знаешь, что... Я стесняюсь. Если бы у меня была нормальная квартира, шикарная, тогда бы я не стеснялась, а так... День. Только вот начали занятия, детки послушные с самого начала, то есть пока нормально хотя бы с ними. Я считаю, что этот труд низкооплачиваемый. Ну, если можно назвать, да. Это мне учащиеся мои подарили, это роза и железо, железная. Я, я когда шла с ней по улице домой, все на нее так смотрели. Я знаешь, такая говорю, это в целях самообороны. Да, в то, я как раз об этом подумала, что когда ты шла с обычной розой и на тебя напали, да. вот эта роза бы как раз пригодилась. Гальчика, а что это за ребеночек на фотографии? Это ребенок моей подружки. У меня уже все подружки замужем, у всех детки, а у одной вообще двое детей. Кстати, вот это вот. Это единственная моя подруга, которая вот удачно вот вышла замуж. Очень хороший муж обеспеченный, хорошо она вышла замуж. И вот она недавно родила мальчика, Егора назвали. Здорово. А чья идея была прийти в агентство Анастасия? Ну, подружка мне говорит, хочешь пофотографироваться? Mm -hmm. Я говорю, ну, конечно, хочу, я очень люблю просто фотографироваться. Она говорит, классные фотографии студийные. Богиня. Я вообще в восторге от Рамона. Я вот, сколько я его знаю, я еще ничего не увидела с его стороны отрицательного, плохого такого, вот чего-то, чтобы меня возмутило. Одни положительные эмоции, энергии, вообще я в восторге от него. Наши мужчины, конечно, так ухаживать за женщиной не умеют. Я думаю, что никогда и не сумеют, им этого не дано. Может быть, они позволить себе не могут? Позволить не могут что? Роскошь, которую ты так любишь. Ну вот, поэтому я, получается, и одинока. Гай, ну что, сколько нам еще? Сейчас, девочки, еще чуть-чуть. Все, я глазки уже накрасила. Тут еще получается вот этот вот пояс, так вот на талии. Красота. Да? Хорошо. Ну и с вот этими вот брюками. И красные туфли Диора. Ой, Может быть, не красивые туфли. Это... Это да, за... на последние деньги купила. Получила зарплату и сразу побежала за ними. Высматривала их месяц. мне духами надушиться. Это Армани. Это то, что первый день было. Ну, да, Армани. Армани? Да. Сколько твоей жизни?
behave, how they dress and everything and uh, you kind of assume everything is fine but then when you get a lot into their insight, like you know the conditions, their economy and how they live make you feel like uh, you want to help that girl, you want to do something for that girl and it may even uh, a kind of a push you to want to marry her to see if she can get a better life because it makes you feel like a guilty, you know, like how come my girl is so beautiful, so nice? You know, you feel more sympathy. Hi, can I show you my girl? She's a jazz singer. It's a, a stage. So, so why would she want to leave all this behind and just move off to Canada? Well, I don't know. I don't know her. I can't be her mind. But uh, love conquer everything. Yeah. So just love the music more. And they love the guy. See how you choose to be true. Uh, she comes across as an incredible artist. You think she'll be able to just change her lifestyle and not sing anymore? Or? As a matter of fact, I have a friend in Vancouver who sings regularly. Uh, not as regular as her, like every second day, but uh, they do sing on average every second week. So, in terms of hobby, I think that probably satisfies her hobby. Your friend, where does he sing? Uh, he only sings in special places when there's a special uh, arrangement. Like uh, maybe in a, a wedding or a special business event, uh, but it does look like that uh, she's giving bigger concert, a lot bigger concert than my friend does. On the other hand, my friend is well educated. He's got a PhD. What kind of work will she be doing there? I told her that uh, you know that if when you become a mother, then you cannot really become a singer. Can have both. She agrees, and she realized that that's the case. So, so what are her feelings for you right now? now I uh, invited her to go to our party with me uh, last night after. Well, yeah, last night after the uh, the first day. If she had no interest in me at all, I don't think she will go out with me again. Calvin's a pretty big guy, isn't he? Yeah, I, I'm not worried about it. You know, first of all, we're adults. I mean, hopefully, we could talk about it like adults, and 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 I don't. I, there shouldn't be an issue to begin with, but I understand there's a little drama going on. Uh... Bottom line is, I mean, I, it's nice to meet new people, make new friends, um, guys included, with the group. But I came here to to meet a woman. You know, I came here. That's that's what I'm concerned about as far as feelings go, more than anything. And uh, we just have to be adults. And then if it was the other way, if the tables were turned, I would have you know, wished them well and good luck and away you go. So you really like this lady? Yeah, she's she's um, she's very interesting. She actually speaks English. Um, she's had a lot of um, life experiences similar to mine. And she's been through, there's one person who uh, basically cheated on her and that's what happened to me. So again, that's something that you understand and appreciate when you meet somebody else that has the same experiences. And at this point, I'm just going to meet with this one. Um, I think that's better than trying to find 20 people and one date, and do I like you? No, maybe not. That, that's very hard. To give golden dream to the girls, that's a good, that's a good thing. <laughs> she just had one, and uh, you know things. Are <laughs> 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 
if a person bring a girl from Odessa city to Richmond, BC, or Vancouver, BC, there's not going to be a lot of different lifestyle. Do they girls walk around with high heels and short skirts like they do here in Vancouver? I don't know. I mean, you live there, I don't. If they're walking down the street in sneakers, then you're probably not thinking along the right lines. There's, and I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying it's an it's an obstacle that you have to overcome in your relationship. I've been immigrant twice. I migrated from uh, Midside City in the Dominican Republic to New York City. I'm from New York City in a small town in Texas. There you go. It's a lot of dynamics, you know a lot of adaptation. So I'll be calling you up. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, put her in the school, English school, school. full-time. Do not put a woman in the house. I think one of the most important things with women, and I could be wrong, I'm not an expert on women. Obviously, if I was, I wouldn't be here. But I feel that women have probably more of an important support group than guys do. They have their girlfriends, they have their mothers, they have their sisters and you're taking them completely away from that support group and reintroducing them to a brand new one. See, when the girl moves to another country, she has to adopt the culture. She's not going to bring all the culture with her. The more obstacles you have, the more difficult it is to make that relationship successful because you or her may cut that relationship off too early for one person to change or for both people to change to kind of meet in the middle or whatever. The girl do have to adapt to be adaptable. Yada Dublas. Yada Dublas. Yada Dublas. What's that mean? It means I love you. I love not you, but okay. <laughs> I would like you to take a picture of them. Okay. No, okay. There. Yeah. Мы как раз несколько фотографий сняли, и я все время делала вот так, вот так, и получилось ужасно. Больше вас уже next time. All right, see okay. you tomorrow. Thank you for your time. Linchka, good night. Oh, пока, good night.
This is a message from uh, interpreter of Anastasia, the girl, the singer. So she will not be able to meet you tonight. She's working tonight. Mm. She's just telling you the nice way to kiss off. <laughs> Why no date? Why no uh, opera? It was beautiful last night. Yeah, things she had to work tonight. That was the message earlier, huh? You had all of the women at the social. You, you, you had uh, Black Book full. Half the guys are uh, falling back to their backup plans. But I did have backup, but that was the one I had in mind. Number 18, young. I also have a date with the, uh, the second contestant of the beauty queen of the uh, Anastasia International. I'm going to see her the third time, and she wrote me a very, very nice letter. Hi, Michael. I want to answer your questions. When I saw your profile, I understood that you are that man that I was looking for. Of course, it sounds ridiculous and quite difficult to believe. But I don't know how, but I feel the unseen connection between us and this strange desire to write to you. They say there is a Mr. or Mrs. Wright for everyone, and I am here to make sure of it myself. I can't say that I have got a big experience in love and relationships, but I am sure that a true feelings and opportunities of my femininity is kept somewhere deep and it is just waiting for a skillful archaeologist to find it. I know that my inside world is very colorful and rich for tenderness, love and petting. Pure love comes from the gods. You can't choose it, control it or make it happen. All you can do is accept the gift and cherish it forever. Love is like gold, so hard to find, yet so precious to keep. I want to be with a man who will treat me the way I deserve. I want him to support me and to forgive me all my weaknesses. In return, I'll do everything for him. I'll be the best wife in the world. I'll be the woman that he wants me to be because I was born to make him happy. I hope to hear from you soon. Yours, Jana. Translated by Jana Natalichnaya. Я работала в Красном Гесе переводчиком. На самом деле не невесты пишут письма, а мы переводчики все писали вместо них. Все придумывали, все все сочиняли, все на все вопросы иностранцев отвечали мы. Тоже у меня был такой да опыт. Мужчина, зачем я вообще с ним переписываю? Переписываться для того, чтобы он сюда приехал, для того, чтобы пойти в ресторан, для того, чтобы можно было, он для, для... купил ей что-то. Сначала купил для нее все, что она хотела, через пару дней она заболела и придумала там. Да, я тоже работала, подтверждаю. Некоторые девочки хотели, ну, просто с ними гулять, а некоторые просто так У меня было три невесты, и все три были для галочки, так сказать. Ну, это ж, это, это случай, это все зависит от человека. Некоторые действительно ищут. Счастье за границей. Да. Некоторые Если сильно ищут счастье за границей. Если у некоторых нет выхода здесь, как бы, то почему бы и не попробовать, и не попытаться? Я думаю, что если мужчина обращает внимание на молоденькую женщину, которая гораздо моложе его, то он понимает, почему она с ним. Вот. И они друг друга стоят, в принципе. Show her, show her what I just give her. I just give her the gift. You like that? <laughs> We're going to have breakfast. And I will be the interpreter. <laughs> Как вам, Майкл? Очень хороший человек, очень понравился. 
Да. Ну, в принципе, хорошенький. Какие у вас планы? Ну, как бы я планирую пообщаться с ним по интернету, поближе. Возможно, у нас что-то получится, какие-то отношения. Случается. Да я очень мало вот общения с женщинами. Научим. Научим, да. Пообщаемся. В Америке, например, у меня есть подруга, она вышла замуж. И она очень довольна. Говорит, как вы можете тут жить? Здесь все намного хуже. А я верю ей. И поэтому беру с нее пример, наверное. Сколько вам лет? 18. Я буду, я подумаю. with this here girl quite a bit, so I'm telling yeah. her that, that Calvin's the hottest guy in the country right now. I can tell, I cannot tell this in front of Ramon, you're crazy. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, this is the key to my heart. So, does anybody want it here? Oh, thank you for taking it. Okay, Ramon was the first one, yeah? No problem. Yeah. What happened with Galila? <laughs> At the beginning, everything started to seem to be fine, but then, uh, personality, things uh, started to show up that I guess uh, we are not uh, bound to be together. She uh, started with, she was expecting me to bring some flowers every time she see me. She make a big deal about it. She stay very, very upset. Oh, too much drama for something so not important. For me, that's a big deal break. I don't think it's good in a relationship. Uh, that's not good. We are going to go on a date today. <laughs> okay. Her number. Wow. Do you have a copy? Yes. I would like the phone number. 411-734-267, please. Hello. <laughs> Do you really want to go with someone on a date today? Yeah, why not? She doesn't pick up the phone. If you want, I can call Moscow office and uh, give them an order to contact her local agency and... Uh... Right, I get it. Hmm? <laughs> what is this noise about? So what we do, what we do is that uh, we touch base then uh, like by 7, 6.30 or something. If you don't mind, you know, I'm sorry, I, I just... I apologize. Is it okay with you guys? Yeah? Okay. <laughs>
small dog. We have to leave everybody going around. I met one last night and we made plans to go back out tonight. I canceled the plans with another girl for her. Then she cancels plans with me. It's complicated. Yeah. It's, it gets complicated. Yeah. If somebody cancels on you today, hey, don't waste a day in the hotel. Yeah. You call somebody else. You just have to give them two hours to get ready. That's the only thing. <laughs> I tell you. At least. Yeah. One of the guys uh, from the group, he was comparing the taking one of these girls to your hometown. It's like you buy a diamond ring and you walk around on the tree. Somebody will want to have it. When I go out with my friends and they bring their wives, they're not going to want to go anymore because if I bring a Ukrainian girl that, that diamond, you know, to the, to the bowling alley with all the normal... <laughs> I mean, I'm ready for the challenge. Yeah. I take the hit. <laughs> worst come to worst. You take the, this girl, you live with them two years. Let's say they get green card. Papi, goodbye. Well, you feel sad about the situation, come back. If not here, somewhere else, yeah. <laughs> Look at this uh, picture over there. Yeah. My guy, you're going to have to protect that girl from the older guy. <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> We're having one of your uh, wine from Sorry? your country. Oh, yes. Which is it? It's a Chateau Neuf de Pop. Ah, uh... oh, yeah, Chateau Neuf de Pop. In red? Yes, red. Yeah, it's a good one. To be honest, if I, I'm pretty sure that I will be coming back. Not after growth. If I have another one, you know, if I have a... <laughs> this, uh, I saw it coming. I'm sorry, I, I, I saw it coming. <laughs> okay. Gentlemen, I will leave you because I have a date to prepare. All right, <laughs> good, good, good. 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 <laughs> I, I'm not looking just for someone to get all together. No, I'm looking uh, for serious things, have babies and uh, everything. The full, uh, <laughs> the full picture. <laughs> And I, I believe I'm still uh, quite fresh in my intelligence and my mind and beyond my, my, my body. That's f from my side, of course. From the side of the, of the girls or ladies, it's different. But okay, they have to think about their, themselves. So you're looking for what age? I don't know, under 30. There are very little chances to meet someone under 30 in France, for me. The risk is to, to lose too much time. And then, uh, see, also I'm 57, and uh, to lose three years, I'm 60, and then, and the things will be more and more difficult. If you meet somebody about 40, will you consider? I don't think I will consider. And what about 35? Uh, in my opinion, I will have the same reaction. But I'm not commending this, I'm, you know, just a reaction, physical or whatever reaction. Black Pearl, mm -hmm. or we can go someplace, uh, anywhere else, it's up, it's up. Somewhere close, or here, inside? Well, here, it's up to her. Wow, that can make me sound really bad, like a playboy or a player, uh, some people have accused me of, but I've been coming not to Odessa, but to Eastern Europe, Moscow, Kiev, uh, for almost a dozen times now. This is my Twelfth trip. Uh, so what is it that keeps bringing you back? It's it is an addiction. I mean, uh, when you sit there and uh, run into all these beautiful women, and uh, sure you want to pick one, but then all of a sudden another one approaches you, and for a middle-aged man, it's uh, an ego booster that uh, is uh, unprecedented. You can't find this anywhere else in the world.
εδώ, ε. Άρα σου αγκούτ. So you have this uh, guy who comes. You know, why did he do that? I mean, when have I been like a kind of a penny picking or a hunter oh, in business? Yeah, penny picking or a kind of a. Uh, No sake. I'm gonna blow it to uh, somebody. Uh, I think it needs some punishment here. She say, what do you say? Huh? Good or bad? Good. Huh? What did you say? Bad. What did you say? I don't You're bad. I don't understand. I don't understand. You're having fun. I feel like we don't understand each other. But what? What? She, she doesn't want to translate. You and me talking. Da? I don't know. But I'm fine with that. You know, I'm okay so far. I'm just saying that we do not understand each other, but we still get along good. That probably applause, by the way. I'm thinking that maybe applause. You know, who knows? А чё он говорит? It was fun. Did you have nice uh, dinner? Yeah, we had a bunch of dinners. <laughs> <laughs> I can't eat no more sushi. I'll start swimming. I feel frustrated. Frustrated. I couldn't find a woman on my quest for the right woman. 
frustrating. <laughs> It's time for the guys to go home. Leave me all alone <laughs> by myself here. Okay. Yes, I'll give you a check it out. I need my wallet. I need my bill. I need to stay. <laughs> really? What would you do if I stay? What would you do if I stay? Would you spend a lot of time with you as much as possible? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Does everyone have their passports, airline tickets, all your bags, luggage? I thought airline ticket pick out an airport, no? Okay, you're all set if it's an e-ticket. You have your passport? No ticket, no. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> and you gotta stay longer. The only thing I'm worried about is I've got uh, maybe about three hundred dollars left. So I don't know. Maybe it's up today. What do you check on it? I doubt it. It was a long trip. Had a lot of fun. Went out a lot and got very tired. Now I need rest. My, well, I think I got more than what uh, what I was looking for. Uh, I got hit by uh, 18 wheelers. And, uh, I'm gonna take some time to recover. My trip was very nice. Couldn't be better. I like my trip. It was a successful trip. I got here what I came for. Maybe I'll come back, I hope. Not only will I come back, but I don't know if my heart will ever leave. <laughs> oh, that was Thank mm -hmm. you.